going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to get a free 97 overall Marcus Peters card for your Mutt 23 squad. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so we're going to go over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to earn this free marcus peters card and a strategy item that's going to give you plus one speed to not only him but everybody else on your team so first things first if you've already opened up the pack you probably already have this card in your binder but if not yesterday you should have received a welcome pack from the free agency promo and if you open it up it contains three different things two of them we kind of expected one we did not and i did send out a tweet on this one here you're going to get a strategy item within this pack that actually boosts plus one speed to everybody on your team so it's not just free agent cards it says all players offense and defense plus one speed plus one catching and plus one tackle so this ultimately can affect this Marcus Peters card, which is going to be a 96 overall, but I believe with this strategy item, we'll bump him up to a 97, but worst case scenario, he's going to have 98 speed, which is extremely good for a cornerback and a free cornerback at that. So you get this 90 overall card and you're going to need these collectibles to put into his upgrade path to get him to a 96 overall. And the main requirement is to have at least one free agency card in your lineup. Now, without needing to spend any coins the smartest thing to do is to take this 90 overall and put them in your lineup as either cb number five or you can make them a backup punt or kick returner that will suffice that will count as one free agent player in your lineup uh, you're also gonna have to play the free agent solos and by playing those you're using free agent players even though they're not actually on your mutt team so that counts towards the stats that you need to complete but once you're done with the solos and you still have more stats to accumulate you'll need to have a free agent card in your lineup the other good news is not only uh you can get this 90 overall marcus peters for free that will get upgraded but also you're going to be able to get a free 96 overall free agent card from the solos so you're essentially double dipping here so let's talk about it if you head on over to your season four field pass this is where you're going to find the objectives that you need to complete to get collectibles that will basically take that 90 overall marcus peters and upgrade him to a 96 overall you're going to need six different collectibles so if you go to the programs tab under your season four field pass and look at the free agency section the six objectives that you need to complete pretty straightforward so you're going to need 50 stars and 100 stars in the solo challenges from the free agency promo the good thing is at 100 stars you also get a 96 overall fantasy pack that lets you pick a free 96 overall free agency card uh, the other two are completing one in five free agency sets these are going to be a little challenging if you're a no money spent player because there isn't any set that's like extremely cheap to do uh and the the easiest one to do is going to be the 90 overall free agency uh, elite player here which requires 186 to 87 then 288 to 89s so if you don't have any of these cards you'll have to go ahead and buy them off the auction house which means you're gonna have to spend some coin at this point what i would probably recommend is if you're trying to save coin uh in the most effective way of doing this is after completing any one of these upgrade sets basically selling the card uh, to recoup your coin and I don't know if because I did a bunch of these sets to get Reggie White and to get some of these champions there's been kind of these weird glitches all year with objectives that require you to do a certain number of sets from a certain program where sometimes when you do one it'll count as two so uh, I know you have to do one to get one of those collectibles and then it says you have to do five to get another collectible I don't know if that means that you need to do like two and that counts as four so you need to do three and that counts as six which is more than five but ultimately what i'm saying here is that if you don't have cards in your possession to complete these sets you're gonna have to go ahead and do it and then sell whatever cards you do to recoup those coins so if we go back to the objectives just to rewind here you're gonna need 50 and 100 stars in the solos you're gonna need to complete one and five free agency sets and then the final two are gonna be get 1,000 and 2,000 passing yards 
with a free agency player in your lineup. So you can use that Marcus Peters. As I said earlier in the video, when you're playing through the solos, that counts as having a free agency card in your lineup, even if you don't own that card because you're using free agency players from the solo challenges. So you are going to find that these objectives do get chipped away at, but to finish them all, you're probably not going to be able to do it just with the solo challenges. You're going to need to put Marcus Peters in your lineup, or when you get to 100 stars, you get that free 96 overall card of your choice. Put whatever play you pick out of that free pack into your lineup and then continue to go after those passing yards. A lot of you will be able to get those 2,000 passing yards organically as you just play the game, but if you're looking for a specific solo to play to grind out passing yards or touchdowns or yards in general, even rushing yards, the go-to solo for me is under Team of the Week, and you're going to go up to week number two, and you're going to look for the Ocho Cinco, the Chad Johnson solo. This one is on arcade and rookie mode, so it's very easy, and it starts you at the five-yard line. So you got 95 yards in front of you to run the ball, to pass the ball it's a great way to rack up yards for any type of objective that you need to complete with yards included in it once you knock out all six of the objectives it's time to level up that marcus peters and get him to a 96 and by the way as you earn these collectibles you can upgrade them on the go like you don't have to do it all at once we're just doing that for video purposes but here is what the career upgrade token looks like you get six of them in total 90 plus six is going to equal 96 that's going to get him to a 96 overall and we're going to put him in the line up with that free strategy item to see if that bumps them up to a 97 overall but you know it's just like you do with your team captains and so many other cards you're going to go to the 90 overall you're going to go on over to upgrades and this is where you're going to put those collectibles in that will continue to take them up one in overall you always start with that five training and that's going to take you to the first level. The next levels are going to require these tokens. And as you put the tokens in here, you're going to see that his attributes bump up. You're going to see that his overall bumps up. And eventually, we will get him all the way up to a 96 overall. A big question that I was asked repeatedly, especially this morning, is does he get all 32 team chems? And the answer is no. They never said he would on the stream when they revealed this content, so I didn't expect him to. You would think he would, given that most of these, you know, 98 overall cards and these higher overall cards from this promo get all 32 team chems but that is just simply not the case there as far as abilities go he actually gets some really good ones so in that last bucket you can either go deep out zone ko which i would recommend or you can go inside shade which is a pretty good man coverage ability or defensive ability that you might want to use but i think i'd go knockout here because knockouts are so powerful right now and a great way to stop the pass and then in that second to last bucket you can either go acrobat for one ap if you have another ap to spare on your defense acrobat is severely underrated in my opinion uh you got pick artists for zero ap if you run a lot of man coverage you can go deep route ko for one ap right here and then go inside shade for that other last bucket there it would still cost you a total of two ap it really depends on your defensive scheme but if you run a lot of zone i go deep out zone ko and acrobat or deep out zone ko and pick artists and if you run a lot of man i'd go inside shade and uh deep route ko it's either going to cost you two or one 1 AP. Now, this is what the card looks like stock without any type of attribute upgrades via strategy items. He's six foot even, 97 speed, 95 press, 93 zone, 96 man. Very, very good free item in my opinion. I went ahead and created an empty blank lineup and put the strategy item that we showed you in the program slot here that gives you plus one to catching speed and tackle. And we also placed the Marcus Peters card in our lineup on defense. And as you can see, with no other type of boost on there just that strategy item and this card he is now bumped up to a 97 overall and with that he's going to get just plus one of those three things but that's enough to get him to 97 overall 98 speed uh catching goes up to 87 i didn't see where his tackle was we'll have to scroll down here uh, it's only 74 so that's not going to be amazing but it's not going to i wouldn't have it deter you from not using this card it's a very very good one at the end of the day now if you have additional strategy items you know that that you use on defense which hopefully most of you do uh, for me personally i use slot specialists this one goes plus two to press plus one to tackle and then plus three to zone and man coverage 
and uh, let's see if he goes to a 98 overall. I kind of expected him to do so, uh, and there it is. So again, if you have the right strategy items there on defense, we're now looking at 98 speed, 99 man, 96 zone, 97 press. This is a really good man coverage corner. You can play him his own as well. And again, I just think it's a really good option for a free card. EA did a good job with this promo. And, and you remember, you still get that free 96 overall for playing through the solos, which you have to do to, to get this card up to that 96. So you're getting two free 96 overalls from playing through the solos and knocking out those objectives. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. My name is Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.